Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. If you've been in a classroom or even watched a movie set in a school, chances are you've seen a chalkboard. But did you ever stop and wonder why some chalkboards are green? For decades, they were black, hence the name blackboard. So when and why did this color change happen? It might seem like a small detail, but it's actually a fascinating glimpse into how innovations, even in something as simple as classroom tools, can impact education and everyday life. So, let's dive in and explore the curious story of why some chalkboards became green. Before we get into the color switch, it's important to understand the chalkboard's history. Believe it or not, chalkboards have been around for a long time. The earliest version dates back to the 19th century, when teachers started using large slabs of slate stone to write down lessons. The innovation was revolutionary at the time. Teachers no longer had to write lessons over and over again for small groups of students on individual slates. Instead, they could write once on a large, centralized surface for the entire class to see. Chalkboards allowed for group learning, discussions, and a more interactive teaching style. They were cost-effective, easy to maintain, and allowed for immediate feedback, which was a massive advantage in teaching. At this point, all chalkboards were black or dark gray because of the natural color of the slate used. These boards became so ingrained in school life that they became synonymous with education itself. But by the mid-20th century, something unexpected happened. Chalkboards started turning green. The shift from black to green began around the 1960s, but this wasn't some random aesthetic decision. The green chalkboard came into existence because of a specific material change and some important practical reasons. For one, traditional blackboards made of slate were heavy and expensive to produce. As classrooms expanded and education became more standardized, the need for something lighter, cheaper, and easier to mass produce became clear. Enter chalkboard paint, a smoother, cheaper material made from porcelain enamel over steel. This new material was durable and made it easier to clean off chalk residue compared to old slate boards. It was during this time that the color switch from black to green happened. This is where things get a bit more interesting. It wasn't just a random choice. Research showed that green was easier on the eyes compared to black. When people stare at a black surface for long periods of time, it can cause eye strain especially in dimly lit classrooms. Green, on the other hand, has a softer, more neutral tone, reducing glare and making it easier for students and teachers to focus. This was particularly important in the 1960s, as more attention was being paid to ergonomics and improving the classroom environment for both teaching and learning. In fact, studies conducted at the time showed that people could read writing on a green surface more comfortably than on a black one. When you're dealing with classrooms full of kids who need to pay attention for long stretches of time, reducing any form of discomfort, including eye strain, can have a big impact. This helped schools transition from blackboards to green chalkboards as educators sought better tools to enhance learning environments. Beyond reducing eye strain, green chalkboards offered other practical advantages too. First, contrast matters. The white or yellow chalk stands out better on green than it did on black. Teachers found that writing on a green surface made their words clearer and easier to read, even from the back of the classroom. This was particularly important in larger classrooms where visibility could be an issue. Also, green boards didn't show chalk dust as much as black ones did. Chalk, as anyone who has used it knows, leaves a fine layer of dust that can smear or linger on the board, creating a ghosting effect of previous lessons. On a blackboard, these smudges were more noticeable, but on green boards, they were less prominent. This made green chalkboards appear cleaner and more professional in between lessons. 
Teachers liked this aspect since it allowed for quick and easy transitions between topics without having to scrub the board intensely. While green chalkboards were dominant for decades, a new challenger emerged in the late 20th century, the whiteboard. Whiteboards, with their dry erase markers, took over classrooms and boardrooms by storm. Whiteboards are easier to clean, more modern looking, and allow for colored markers, which makes lessons more dynamic. But despite the whiteboard revolution, green chalkboards didn't entirely disappear. Some schools and classrooms still use chalkboards today, especially in older buildings where replacing them would be costly. In fact, some teachers and students prefer them, citing reasons like the satisfying tactile feedback you get from writing with chalk, the nostalgic element, and the fact that you don't have to worry about markers drying out or running out of ink. Plus, chalk is much cheaper than markers in the long run. It's funny how something as simple as a green chalkboard can become wrapped up in nostalgia. For many people, the sight of a green chalkboard brings back memories of school days. There's a certain aesthetic to them. The sound of chalk scraping, the cloud of dust when you erase a board, the rhythm of writing out math problems or grammar rules. It's an experience that doesn't quite translate to the whiteboard and marker combo. And because of this, green chalkboards still hold a special place in the hearts of many educators and students. In fact, some schools and even restaurants or cafes use green chalkboards to give off that vintage old school vibe. It's a nod to the past and a way to create a welcoming, familiar atmosphere. So, why are some chalkboards green? It's not just a quirky design choice. The shift from black to green came out of practical considerations, making boards easier to produce, easier to read, and more comfortable on the eyes. Green chalkboards became a mainstay in schools for decades, and although they're slowly being replaced by whiteboards, they still hold a unique place in education history. Whether it's the improved contrast, reduced eye strain, or the nostalgic pull they have for so many, Green chalkboards remind us that even the simplest tools in our lives often have rich and fascinating stories behind them. So next time you're in a classroom or spot a chalkboard somewhere, you'll know why some of them are green. It's a small detail, but one with a big history. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.